So I'm up in my attic trying to repair my furnace that heats the top floor of my house. And in this video, I'm going to show you two solutions that you can try if your furnace is not working, if it's not turning on or if it's not staying on. The repairs that I'll be showing you are very easy to do. Anybody can make these repairs. Anybody can do these repairs. You can find the parts on Amazon.com and they are pretty cheap. The only thing is that you'll have to wait about a day or so for the part to get delivered. But that's it. First, switch off the power to your furnace and then take off the panel cover to see what's going on inside. For a Goodman furnace, you need to remove the cover from the top panel. My furnace has been installed sideways because it's in the attic. For this furnace, I just needed to remove these two screws to pull the cover off. When I turn on the switch to power the furnace, you see the inducer motor starting up and spinning. But nothing else is happening. You don't see the igniter glowing. The igniter isn't heating up to provide the heat source to start burning the gas. So the burners are not firing up. Now if you are seeing flames in your furnace, but they don't stay on and keep going out, that's an even more common cause of furnaces not working. And I'll show you how to fix that a little later in this video. That's a super easy fix that can be completed in no time at all. The inducer motor will keep trying to start up the system three or four times before it stops altogether. Now I'm going to show you how to take out the igniter. Just unscrew the screw holding it in place. Then unplug the wires. Now, if your igniter looks totally fine, then there could be something wrong with the wiring leading up to the igniter. But you can see here that my igniter is broken. So I ordered a new one from Amazon for $30. I'm just putting in the new igniter now. There, it's fixed. I just turned off the light to the attic so you can see the flames better. Now I'm going to show you what's probably the number one cause of furnaces not working, and that's a dirty flame sensor located right here. The power to the furnace is off, and I'm going to take the flame sensor out by unscrewing a screw as I did for the igniter. This flame sensor is not that dirty and was working fine for me, but I'm going to clean it to show you how it's done. 
You can use these green scrub pads for dishes and just scrub off any soot or carbon buildup. What's really important is for you to not get the igniter and the flame sensor mixed up because you don't want to be scrubbing the igniter that might have been perfectly fine and end up breaking it. So here are photos of various igniters and photos of various flame sensors. By the way, these flame sensors are quite inexpensive and many cost less than $10 to buy.